All right, so for Father's Day, my dad got me these torque sticks from Capri. Not the pants, but hey, still pretty cool. So I'm wondering if these torque sticks are actually pretty accurate and as good as they're supposed to be. So now in a vehicle, when you have your wheels and you um, put them back on, you need to torque them. And the reason why I recommend torquing them is number one, aluminum wheels. Uh, if you put too much on it, you can actually, um, I seen it, people actually, uh, what do you call that? Just chew up the, the mount where the screw goes on, excuse me, where the bolt comes on. And um, you actually chew it up. I've seen people crack them before. I mean, yeah, especially with aluminum wheels, you gotta be careful. If you over torque, you cause a lot of issues. You can also strip the stud on it and then you have to redo the stud on it. So it's good to, torquing your wheels is always a good thing. And it's always good to make sure that they're properly fastened properly. That way you don't got no vibrations and you got no wheels to worry about your wheels falling off. So enough on that rant. So on these 2009 Honda Accord, it calls for eight, uh, 80 foot pounds of torque. So now the way these torque sticks works is, and let's bring it back up over here, is that you got various thicknesses. As you can see, this kit goes from 65 foot pounds up to 140 foot pounds. So the thicker, uh, the thicker the wall of the extension on it is going to allow the gun to give up, uh, to allow apply that foot poundage to it. This gun is my Milwaukee gun. I've had this for about four or five years. Amazing, amazing, amazing tool. Enjoyed a lot. Uh, this one I think is rated. I think it's rated up to 400 foot pounds, I believe. So don't quote me. It might be a little less, might be a little more, but I know it's somewhere around the 400 foot pound range and I've never ever had a bolt that this thing could not beat. And I mean, this thing works phenomenal and the batteries, they just last, uh, they work real great. So what I'm going to do is I'm curious to see is if this thing is pretty accurate and if it's pretty decent and is it going to work like it says, you know, I've never used the torque sticks before. I imagine they're a lot easier than just popping out the torque wrench. I could just um, screw screw it in really good with the uh, Milwaukee impact wrench or impact driver over here and it could make time a lot go by not time will go by a lot faster but it could make the process a lot quicker and smoother just by using the torque wrench um, these uh, what do you call these yeah these torque uh, whatever you call them it'll make it a lot easier using it so what I'm gonna do for the test is I'm actually gonna snug them uh, I've already snugged them down I haven't even torqued them and I'm going to impact them with the 80 foot pound one over here for the torque stick. And I'm going to do it while it's in the air. And then I'm going to bring it back on the ground. And I'm going to actually going to use my trusty um, torque wrench I got for Harbor Freight for $20. This thing works great. And I've used it for years, never had an issue. When you hit over 100 foot pounds, it gets a little sketchy sometimes. But I've, anything under 100, I've never had an issue with it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put this thing in pile driver mode. Let's see. All right, let's see if we can get this thing swapped over. There we go. So I got the 80 foot pound one right over here. And we're just going to go ahead and see if we get that in. Wow, that's violent. All right, so I'm glad I was only eight foot pounds because I think if it was more, it probably would have twisted my wrist off. So now the wheel is in, it's tight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off jack stands and then we're gonna try the Harbor Freight and see if it hits 80 foot pounds like these torque, this torque stick is measured from. So let's get this off the jack and we'll take a look at it. All right, so now we've got the car in the air. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to set up the camera right over here, just so I can do my thing. All right, so got the torque wrench. We'll get the 19 millimeter. Okay, got it set for 80 foot pounds. And let's see if this thing torqued it to 80 foot pounds. Oh yeah. nice now usually what i typically do is i usually give them an extra 10 but yeah so far the thing worked pretty good so i'm just gonna give it a little extra all right let's go over to the other side 
Let's see if this is, was also torqued to 80 foot pounds, which it should be. Here we go. Get this on camera. Oh yeah. Let's move this up a little more just to kind of make sure that it's just not heavily over tight. Okay. Put a 90. All right, so sum up these torque sticks work perfect. They work really good. Um, I was able to verify with my torque wrench, which I know that works pretty good. Some may argue that it's not calibrated, but that's quite okay. It was definitely torqued up to 80. And then when I hit it up to 90, I was able to give it a good oomph. So yeah, definitely happy with these. This will actually make uh, changing tires and all that good jazz a lot easier. As far as torquing it down, I mean, I could just bzz, 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 buzz it in with the gun. So yeah, definitely happy with this. So torque sticks, are they good? Are they worth it? Absolutely. This one is Capri. Got this from my dad for Happy Father's Day. Greatly appreciated that he got it for me and very happy with them. So thanks for watching and we'll see what we do next.